Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm excited. Major Rob's excited. Major Amy's excited for you guys to be right here with us today. Oh, we're getting so pumped up. I know we're going to have a great time in worship, but before we do anything, I want you to do the same thing we always do, okay? I want you to touch it to, well, touch the sky first. Let's go, Tim. Yeah, spread those fingers out. Oh, yeah. Spread out. Oh, yeah. And then touch your toes. I did it. Twist to your left. Oh yeah, twist to your right, shimmy it up, let's pick a foot up, oh yeah, we're gonna, oh yeah, oh, yeah. get off me, hot punches, all right, we're ready, we're gonna do our song for today, and it's gonna be an exercise song, it says, I'm in right, out right, down right, up right, happy all the time, okay, I'm in right, out right, down right, up right, happy be all the time. I'm in right, out, right, down, right, up, right, happy all the time. Since Jesus Christ came in and cleansed my heart from sin. I'm in right, out, right, down, right, up, right, happy all the time. Here we go. I'm in right, out, right, down, right, up, right, happy all the time. I'm in right, out, right, down, right, up, right, happy all the time. Since Jesus Christ came in and cleansed my heart from sin. I'm in right, out, right, down, right, up, right, happy all the time. I'm in right, out, right, up, right, down, right, happy all the time. I'm in right, out, right, down, right, up, right, happy all the time. Since Jesus Christ came in and cleansed my heart from sin. I'm in right, out, right, down, right, up, right, happy all the time. Here we go. I'm in right, out, right, down, right, up, right, happy all the time. I'm in right, out, right, down, right, up, right, happy all the time. Since Jesus Christ came in and cleanse my heart from sin. I'm in right, out, right, down, right, up, right, happy all the time. Yeah! Thank you for joining us. We're excited to have you. You know what? What I want you to do before we go, I want you to send me a quick video of saying the five first books of the law. See how fast you can say it. And I'm going to help you real quick. It's Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. That's how fast I can do it. Major Rock, okay? how fast can you say it? Come over here. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. Oh, that's a little bit faster than me. All right. That's your goal. Send me a video. Five first books of the law. Now, a little extra kudos if you can say the history ones too. There are 12 of them. Just saying. Bye. Jesus, I have decided to give you this. Really? Yeah. You know whoever sits here makes all the decisions, right? I know, and I'm always making decisions, but you make the perfect decisions, so you just sit right down and start making them. Wow, I'm honored. I mean, this feels great. <laughs> Kathleen, guess what? I just got my new credit card. It's time to go shopping. <laughs> oh, really? I thought your husband and you were going to pay off debt. Oh, yeah. I mean, money's kind of tight, but I figured he doesn't have to know about it. So do you want to oh. go with me? No. <laughs> no? Why? Uh, what I mean is, uh, I don't know. Um, oh. So let me check my schedule and then I'll get back to you. Okay, yeah, give me a call. Okay. <laughs> Kat, what's going on? What do you mean? Well, I'm kind of one cheek in it here. Look, I just want to make sure we're on the same page. You wanted me to sit here, right? Well, of course. And whoever sits here makes all the decisions? Right. So what's the problem? Uh, there's not a problem. I just, I don't know what I was thinking. Really, please, here, sit down. As long as you're sure. I'm sure. Okay. okay. So, let's start over. Okay. All right. Kat, I noticed that you've been losing your temper a lot lately. Right. So, okay, Jesus, you know what? I know what you're going to say, but um, see, you, do? you don't know the whole situation, you know? Oh. I, well, all I'm saying is that your attitude is a decision. Yes, of course, but I have a lot going on right now. <laughs> well, I know you're under a lot of pressure. Pressure? Jesus, you don't understand pressure, okay? This I, isn't working, Kat. What? We can't both sit on the seat. It's either me or it's you. Okay, I know. You know, I just, I didn't think it was going to be this hard, but here, just take it. 
No, I'm not gonna take it. You have to give it to me. Okay, here. Kathleen, make a choice. I can't. You just did. Your word is a lamp that gives light wherever I walk. Psalm 119, 105. Your word is a lamp that gives light wherever I walk. Psalm 119, 105. I guess I just always thought of it as a club, a church club. It is, in a way. Kids join because they want to learn more about something you care about. But being a junior soldier is eh, kind of a bigger deal. A bigger deal than robotics club? I'm not sure about that. Those guys can get pretty intense. You're right about that. I caught those guys trying to stage an android deathmatch behind the bike shop once. <clears throat> but I, uh, I wasn't talking so much about intensity. When I say bigger deal, I mean being a junior soldier starts with a promise. And it's a different kind of promise than the one you might make to show up to club meetings every week. Well, the robotics guys do make you swear an oath of secrecy. But how is a junior soldier promise different than other promises? Think about it for a second. Do you remember the first words of the promise you recited while you were being enrolled? I know that Jesus is my savior from sin. I've asked him to forgive my sins, and I will trust him to keep me good. That's right. You don't say, I promise to do this or that. You say you'll trust Jesus to help you. That makes all the difference. How is it different? Because there are some things we can't do on our own power. And believe it or not, being good is one of them. Hey, I think I've got some above average goodness going on here. <laughs> well, of course you do. But it's the condition of all humans I'm talking about here. Ever since the fall, humans have had a natural tendency towards sin. Being good on our own power isn't something we're capable of. But then, how does anyone do any good at all? By asking for God's help. If we lean on God in the times when we feel sin pulling us away, He can help keep us good. And when you become a junior soldier, you promise to remember that and to use it. Use it to do acts of, like, super goodness? If you want to, or just regular goodness. It helps to remember that we're only able to make this promise to God because He first made a promise to us. God's promise to give us strength means we have a way to follow through on the promises we make back to Him. Promises like helping others and being truthful and kind, and in the Salvation Army, following the doctrines. Doctrines, the key to Doctrine Vaders. Bum, 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 bum. Conquer, bum, the universe. Bum, 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 with doctrine power. Cool, and the uniform? Think of it like being on the football team. When you go out onto the field, you want everyone to know who you play for. Make sense? I think so. I may have been working on some improvements. 
Believe me, <laughs> you're not alone there. So God really cares about people my age? You bet. More than either of us will ever know. And joining junior soldiers means I promise to lean on God to be who he wants me to be? Couldn't have said it better myself. This sounds like it goes way further than the robotics club. Hey guys, thank you for joining me today. I want to talk to you and I want to start with asking you this. What do you think this is? This is a hammer, right? What is it used for? Pounded nails, ply up nails. What about this one? This is a ladle, right? You use it to pick up soup, use it in your bowl, eat it nice and easy. What about this one? Do you think you know what this might be? That's right, it's a potato smasher. It smashes up your veggies nice and tight and makes some good mash. Another one easy. It's an egg beater, yes. Use the best ingredients while cooking and baking. And although these tools and utensils are very different, just like this saw right here, they all have one thing in common. Do you know what it is? That's right, they have a handle. The hammer, the, 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 the egg beater, the, the ladle, all these things, they all have a handle in which they are held when performing their job. There's one more tool and utensil that I want you to think about today, okay? It's right here with these utensils right here. The tool that I'm talking to you about is us. It's you and me. Yeah, that's right. You and I can be tools and utensils for God's will. There are many good things that God wants us to do here on earth, and he needs your help and mine to do them. He wants us to be partners with us, and he wants to use us as tools, as his tools and utensils. There's one big difference between these tools and utensils, though. These objects have no say in whether they want to be used or not. They don't have a mind or will. But us, we can choose. We can decide if we're going to be, let, uh, be used by God or not. God wants his love, his joy, and his help to be to get to your family, to your friends. He wants us to show them things through you. He, you will act as a person of love and joy and peace and helpfulness towards other people. And let God handle you. That's the biggest thing I want you to do. Let God use you as a tool to bring joy, to bring peace, to bring love to others. And, and uh, it says this, offer yourselves to God, offer parts of your body as him as instruments of righteousness in Romans 6, 13. Let him use you for his glory. Because you don't know, you, you may never know how well you can be used. Just like this bad boy. <laughs>